This battle broadcast was brought to you by Mr. Magic Down Under and DieToRailu.com. This is round one of the elimination event, and I won the die roll. So I'm gonna go first. And second. This hand is okay, which I will keep. Second. I will open with the uh, mutable so I can punish this god. If he has that. Oh, wait, turn that off too. Okay, it looks like I'm playing against Eve. Um some sort of green white aggro deck or auras. Or it could be mid range. Lots of things. No matter the case, I will punish um, immediately. Okay, I can now free swing, which I'll take. Ah, oh, damn. Shock the elf. Will make it more difficult for him to use his um course and gain life from it. And I'll swing again for two. Okay, there goes my punishing. So I'm most likely to see a Skullcraft next turn. Because I'm already scrying, I don't really want to waste my um, Magma Jet. I do need some more red sources though. So if I see a mountain, I'll probably keep it. It's one thing to have spells, and another thing to actually be able to cast them. Phoenix for aggression, damage wise, 4, 8, 10, 6. No, I already have lethal in hand. I don't need um, Phoenix. What I do need is lands. I can play the lands. I can play my own spells. This makes scrying a little bit. I'm using my jet less um, risky as well. Corsa. No. Giant lizard thing. Which I can choose to ignore. Which is exactly what I'll be doing. Uh, Battle Forge. I don't want the Battle Forge because it'll damage me, but I'll take Temple. I have one turn of a little bit of a, of a low. And that's interesting. Alright, I'll put that on top, so I can finish him next turn. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna use um, Strike, Skullcrack, and I'll just go double Barasham. The following turn. Assuming you can't gain life with Skullcrack in, in hand, I should probably win this. And yeah, I believe this is GG.
6 plus 8 is 14 damage. I'm not entirely sure what the white's for. Scout crack? No. <coughs> Sorry. No. Nope, and finish off. GG. Okay, um, sideboarding time. I believe he's playing white mainly for banting light. And because he's not playing black, my chain rock is actually really, really, really good. I kinda wanna play Glare of Heresy. So take out his um his banishing lights. I can't imagine him running much from much removals either. Because of the choices in colour, it, it makes my sideboarding much more difficult now because um I have more options available. So usually I just cut out my young Primances to be done with it, but now now I'm like, okay. It might not be so bad. Uh, for now, I'll just think about it carefully. He has banting lights, I, I, I know that. And he has a bunch of um, walkers and, and creatures, which would be very annoying. I, I know that as well. Fire dances seem reasonably decent. Young Pyramaster actually seems decent now as well. My primary win coin will be um, just killing them by burn, as you probably noticed from that last game. So I need cards which can buy me time. I'll take the chain rocks. And in this case, I'll take the young Parmasses. <coughs> because the young Parmasses leave behind bodies. Mm. I believe that's correct. No, I'll go with the four chains and just the young. Yeah, okay, I'll go with this strategy. Phoenixes aren't bad, but um, if my plans are burnt over top, then I just need to keep things blocking, stay alive, win. That's a fine hand. Elf. Alright. In my case, it'll be shocked then. It's a lag on my end, it's kind of annoying. Another elf will be frustrating. Oh well, thank goodness. Chain rock, excellent draw. Need to land actually. So I'll have to put away the um scout crack sadly. Even though I actually do like scout crack. I'll draw the card. Thank you. 
No, that wasn't worth it. I will use the um the jet to look for more lands. Okay, it does not have Corsa, and that pleases me greatly. He has a filthy sheep though. Which I'll deal with using the um, chain rocks. And for the time being, I'll just look for some more lands. Oh, um, Nudavolts is an excellent land. Although, in this situation, I'm not too sure how good Nudavolt really is. I still take it though. I would have preferred the white sauce, but I think land's better than nothing. This lag's pretty frustrating. Number one. Is the third one as well? He does. I actually need to land there. So I can see why I kept this hand now. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to race the sheep. Wow. I don't think I can race that many shapes. So we kept the hand with four shapes. Mm, Stokes and Flames. Stokes and Flames seems pretty good. I don't really need another man though. I can't deal with this in the last shape though. This is a shame. Ain't you? Yeah, I definitely can't deal with it now. I'm gonna have to bring wear and tear. And I also have to bring in the back to Phoenix and I can't raise the ground force like this.
Alright. Let's see if I can find a chain of rocks or not. If I can find chain of rocks and chain away his um, last sheep, I can still win this. But besides that, he feels dead. Okay, I'm bringing in the wear and tear. I'm bringing back in the phoenixes. Maybe even the dancers as well. Player power seems pretty good. Cutting out the young pyromancers. I'm honestly not too sure about the Young Paramounts and the Clear Heresy, sorry. So you got seven random cards to pick from. I'll take a Singleton Glare. I'll get two birds. Well, I'm on the play, I kind of want all four birds. What do I cut for them though? Alright, this looks pretty good. I can keep this hand. I do need to draw lands though. I'm running six anti sheep cards, so um, hopefully they come out before I get killed by the sheep. White sauce. I think I'm okay with taking 2 damage, so I'll take the uh... It depends really, if he plays the sheep, now I want to go lightning strike plus some um, shock. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with taking 2 damage. I'll take both cards like that. Great. He had no sheep, which means it's a waste of play. Oh well. I'll deal with it next time. Banishing light, hopefully not. Safe. Yeah, he's down to 15. I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage in hand. This is not enough. Yeah, of course, that's a pretty good draw. Banshee Light comes out next turn. So, what I'll do is um, I'll kill off this, um, this Corsa in the turn. I'll swing the mutable plus the um Phoenix. <coughs> the Phoenix. Punching lights. So he's okay with taking two damage? Alright. I don't really mind if he wants to take two damage. 
Nah, he didn't take two damage. It's a fine play. Lots of lag on my end. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something. I can't kill him either way. Alright, so I'll have to use the jet first then. I need to find a skull crack because it's getting pretty scary. Don't need the lands. Beautiful draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. <coughs> he can't RR me, but he can stew just as easily. Um, use double Wally Helix if he has that. I'm hoping he doesn't. Besides Wally Helix, there's literally nothing he can do to beat me. So with some luck, he'll tap out for um, Elspeth. And I'll have it in the bag. You probably noticed that my clock here is on 14 minutes. I don't usually play this slowly. It's just for some reason I my computer's acting up. So so be it. I'll try to do something about this before the next game starts. So when he finally ends this turn, we can decide what's gonna happen. Alright, this is the turn to decide his fate. Green, green, green. Lightning strike. Lightning strike. Wally Helix. Yep. And GG. I messed up. Oh, geez, I'm bad at maths. Oh, I, I deserve to lose now. Oh, that was horrible! <laughs> I forgot the Skucker does not actually do um, full damage. Oh, it's so bad of me. Yeah, I feel horrible. Luckily, it doesn't matter. But that could have been really, really bad. 